Well, hello, hello, hello. We are back again on this lovely Tuesday evening. Um, our The last stream was very, very long. <laughs> it wasn't the full 11 hours or whatever that you see here, uh, but it was still quite a long stream um, on Saturday and a lot happened in that time. So while we were gone, while uh, the last, the last part of the story that we finished, we uh, had gone to Argonia, we'd gotten the magic mirror, we'd gone back to the dark ruins and we had faced down dual Magus um, at the end of which the curse was not lifted. So we were retired to Argonia and when we woke up in Argonia, Jessica was mysteriously missing, and that is where we are picking up tonight. Let's see if we can't hunt down our girl and figure out what the heck is going on. Alright, so the people that we spoke to in Argonia told us that the girl with the quote big bosoms had gone towards the northern checkpoint. So that is where we are going to go. We're going to head towards the northern checkpoint. Spell back into our inventory. Let's see. There we go. All right. And then we need to use Balmer's Bell. <laughs> Kind of important. So, the northern checkpoint looks like we need to go east first. So, this way. Oh man, I already miss having Jessica in the party. <laughs> Just because she can attack everything at once with her big bad spell. Here's where we turn, right? We go north here, because the, yeah, we went to the Royal Hunter ground once already, so we're going north this time. Oof, fast kitty. Except on bridges, apparently, where we get slowed way down. That stuff can paralyze you if it hits. Look 
doggy. Oh, oh hey. Hmm. Tempting to fight him for just for his monster coin because we need money. I don't know what kind of monster coin he's got, but I want it, so. <laughs> You know what? Let's actually call a team in. And see how he does against another monster team. That'll help. Whoa. Well, he's got a lot of health. Does decent damage. Terrible. Not terrible. What kind of coin do you have? Gold monster coin. Oh yeah, that's a thousand coins. I definitely like that. Sure, let's add him. We have room on our team and he's got decent stats, I guess. Alright, continuing on. He's also one of the ones that like appears in a bunch of different places, so running into him is not common. <laughs> Okay, well, judging by that, I'd say Jessica was definitely here. That looks like some fire damage. What's the sign say? I was already fed up with border patrol duty, but just a little while ago, this strange woman came out of nowhere and tried to kill me with a scepter. Enough is enough. I'm going and don't come looking for me either. All right, I guess we won't come looking for you. I mean, if a strange woman came after me wielding a scepter, I probably would quit my job on the spot as well. I don't get paid enough for that. Well, in this case, the woman isn't lying in a pond, but she is, uh... Distributing death, for sure. Strange women wielding scepters. Saying, fight me. And probably muttering something about the piteousness of human life. We found a town. It's the guy with abs next to his abs next to his abs. This here's Arcadia. The whole place is full of stonemasons and their workshops. Look around and you'll see. Okay. Hey, have you seen a lady? I saw her do it! The same girl who broke through the southern checkpoint came here. Well, she won't get away from me. She's in injured a load of people back there. Where's she got to? Okay, that means she's definitely here. And judging by the placement of all of these people, I am being shuffled over here, I guess. Ugh, she caught me off guard. I don't know who you are, but please protect the master. Okay. I guess I better go find him then. Don't come any closer. I don't know who you are, but I won't let you hurt Master Dominico. What are you mumbling about, David? What could you possibly do to protect me? You useless good-for-nothing. 
Move! Ah! Oh, of course, Master. Listen to me, girl. I am Dominico, the great magician. I presume you have come for me. Well, I regret to inform you that I knew you were coming. I foretold this encounter. Consequently, I have already mastered the spell necessary to eliminate a pesky little wand waver like you. Yes, the Dragon Ball style re rears its head pretty much every time a new character is introduced. So, away with you. Go back to where you came from. Alakazam! <laughs> Such a pity! Such a pity! You can't see how useless your feeble enchantments are against the might of this scepter! Already it has claimed the lives of four heirs! What? Enough of your trickery! Nothing can resist my magic. Alakazam! It is time to end this now. Watching you struggle on in vain is just too pitiful. this well you were quicker than I expected <laughs> well it seems your pathetic circle has helped you after all if it hadn't bought you some time you'd already be dead don't worry you're safe for now I'm not in the mood to take you all on at once I just haven't got it in me. If I were you, I'd prepare a more sturdy defense for our next meeting. And perhaps a shroud! <sighs> that, uh, that was a narrow escape. Master Dominico, are you hurt? Get off me! You disgusting piece of filth! This isn't a chance for you to wheedle your way into my good books. I, I, I wasn't trying to. I just... Uh... Enough! Go and give Sir Leopold his dinner. Can't you see I have business to attend to? Of course, Master. Yo, it seems I am indebted to you. Cop. Well, this guy, hey? I don't know who you are, but I imagine you know who I am. You've heard of the great magician Dominico, I presume. What an honor to have helped me. How lucky you are. I will permit you to dispense with formalities and simply call me Master Dominico. Now then, that wand-waving sprat. She said something rather ominous about coming back, did she not? Well, even the great Dominico cannot magic up a barrier stronger than the one I had already erected. So despite having thanked you already for helping me before, I shall now bestow on you with the honor of running a little errand for me. I mean, yeah, I guess. Good. Now then, there has long been a family of stonemasons in this town called the Cran Bottles. There are two jewels known as the Cran Spinnels, which have been in that family for generations. The jewels harbor tremendous magical power. 
I've asked them to give me the gemstones before, but the last Cran Bartle was a stubborn old fool. He refused to listen to reason. So your task is simply to persuade the Cran Bartle family to hand over the Cran Spinnels. However stubborn they are, I'm sure they wouldn't ignore a truly heartfelt plea. Anyway, the method you use is up to you. I only care about results. I will be unable to construct a barrier capable of warding off that pesky wand-waving wench without those jewels, so hurry along. Ugh, you foolishly forgot to ask me. The Cranbartles live in a tiny little place situated just below the fountain in the courtyard. Okay, well I hate that guy. Let's read his books. It's a book entitled Amazing Alchemy. A powder by the name of Saint's Ashes is renowned in the world of alchemy. It has the miraculous ability to lift curses from cursed items. Mix it with a stinky suit of zombie mail, for example, and a sparkling clean suit of armor is sure to result. Hey. We like recipes. How about this shelf? You got anything for me? Womp womp. That is a big pot. Okay. In here? Ooh. Cabinet inspection. I feel like we already have one of those. Wizard staff, I mean. Maybe we don't. Is this... This entire floor is just for that room and the rest of it is empty. That seems wasteful at best. Alright, a dining room. Cabinet inspection. And the cook. And the sleeping quarters for the rest of the staff? Wow. Yeah, this guy sucks. We don't like him. But we got to figure out what's going on with Jessica and why she's talking like that. And why she still has the scepter. It's a children's book entitled The Sorcerer and the Staff. Long, long ago lived a sorcerer who collected every kind of magical staff he could find. The old sorcerer had a staff that could launch fireballs and a staff that could protect him from harm. Yet still he was unsatisfied. One day, the sorcerer put two of his strongest staves in his alchemy pot with the aim of creating an even more powerful one. But no sooner had he done so than he found himself unable to use any of his magical powers. He had indeed created a powerful staff. Unfortunately for him, it was a staff for nullifying magic. Hmm. Interesting. All right. All right, well, that was this guy's house. Here you are, Leopold. Dinner time. I I'll leave it here for you. something to upset you please i'm truly sorry oh oh it's you oh thanks for what you did before it's because of you the master dominico is safe are you on your travels by any chance yeah we are i thought so i could tell i was traveling around the world myself until about six months ago yeah it'll be six months ago now when I got here, I was penniless and so hungry, I collapsed. But Master Dominico helped me. He said he'd let me work for him here at this house. I was so grateful. He can be a bit overbearing at times. But in his heart, 
He's a truly kind man. I'm not convinced that that's true, but okay. All right, he said that family lived ben beneath the fountain? Is it this fountain? Or is there another fountain somewhere? I don't know, but I think we can explore this whole place now. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start in this corner and just work our way around. Because new town means new stuff to smash. And we have a license for just that. It's a book entitled Aromancy, Magic of the Air. When a hat that's light as a feather is imbued with the power of the wind, a special hat is the result. Specifically, the Hermes hat. It has the ability to transport its wearer and friends to remote locations. All right. The Dark Mass. The acolytes of the Lord of Darkness adorn themselves with dark robes for the Dark Mass. If you consider yourself a true follower of the Lord of Darkness, you owe it to yourself to make one of these robes. First, you must find a certain magic garment. Mix it with Devil's Tail and Wing of Bat to dye it appropriately black. Let your alchemy pot simmer, and before long, you'll have your very own dark robe. Okay, but I don't follow the Lord of Darkness, so maybe I don't want to make that. Poison Moth Knife, okay. this barrel. Can't even check the ones that have like the banners over them. It's a book entitled Armor Planning. If you happen to obtain a suit of silver mail, don't waste time equipping it. Put it in an alchemy pot. You can make dancer's mail. Hey, we already made that. Ditto for magic armor. Don't dilly dally wearing, wearing it. Toss it in the alchemy pot. You can make a suit of spiked armor out of it. The alchemy pot isn't just about making items, it's about saving money. Remember, a fiscally responsible adventurer is a smart adventurer. Well, hi there, Aim. We've made our way to Arcadia, and we are currently looting the town for all of its goodies. And then I guess we're going to go find the Cran, Bart Cran Bartles. How am I so close to this wall upon immediately walking through that door? Y'all see this? Donkey Kongs. All right. They definitely got a lot of sculptors here. Okay. Nope, nothing to smash. Nothing to smash. Maybe books to read? Is a book entitled Dark Temptation. The temptation of the dark side can be a terrible thing. Even the most devout monk can succumb to it. It appears that Devil's Tail and Wing of Bat have the same effect on holy weapons. Temptation is a dangerous thing indeed. It's got real Star Wars for a second. <laughs> Alright, let me smash your barrels and pots that I'm sure you painstakingly crafted yourselves. I really hope that this city full of sculptors doesn't realize what I've done to every pot I've come across so far. It doesn't take some kind of horrific revenge against me for destroying all of their hard work. Me smash stuff never! Casually tucks away license to smash. Ooh, bookshelf. It's a book entitled The Overlord of the Rings. It's common knowledge that certain magical rings are capable of protecting their wearers from a variety of attacks. Few are aware, however, that there is one almighty ring powerful enough to protect its wearer from nearly any attack. 
Legend has it that this amazing item is forged from three other rings which guard against paralysis, illusions, and poison. Hmm. It sounds like the kind of thing we might want, but I don't think we have those other things to make it, so. Womp womp. Hey, a bunny tail. And a pot. It's a barrel. I know about barrels. It's fine. It's the diary of a craftsman. Dear diary, my apprentice brought a friend around to the workshop. His name was Lorenzo. Uh-oh, we know that guy. What a foppish little string bean of a man. That's, a, that's an apt description. He'd be better. He'd better ditch that showy outfit of his for some work clothes if he's serious about becoming a craftsman. Who does he think he is? A nobleman or something? Aw, that's great! Well, I'm glad you love this game. I also really, really love this game. Which is why I'm playing it. <laughs> it's so good! And, uh, shameless plug, it will be... All my streams will be available on my YouTube channel. Um, if for whatever reason you do miss one. I'm gonna, I'll get them all up there. Saturday's stream was such a long one that it hasn't uploaded yet, but it, I'm working on it. <laughs> hey, we found the bathroom. There is nothing to smash in this bathroom, ironically enough. Okay, go this way. Yes, rock salt. Rock salt, rock salt. It's an autumn issue of a magazine called We Love Our Weapons. Feeling the need to smash something? Y'all, they have been in my diary. Look no further. The Uber Warhammer is the weapon you've been waiting for. It's an even more powerful version of the Warhammer. Worried that you won't be able to swing such a massive hammer around easily? You've got to add something that makes you strong to a normal Warhammer to make the Uber Warhammer. So even junior hammerers can use it. I just use the word hammer a lot. <laughs> All right. Something interesting here. Man, some of these um, sculptures are like real intimidating. A tattoo of a hero. Wow. That's commitment I don't possess. But I I don't have any tattoos at all. I think if I were to get a video game tattoo, it would probably be a Zelda tattoo. But because I like triangles and Zelda. So, like, it's going in. Dragon dung. It's like leveled up bullshit. It's the summer issue of a magazine called We Love Our Weapons. Sweltering summer nights provide the perfect environment for festering undead to walk the earth. It's enough to make even an adventurer worth a, with a zombie's bane feel insecure. But why worry when you can make yourself a zombie slayer? It's easy. Just combine your zombie's bane with a certain holy item in your alchemy pot. Go on and give it a try. Hmm. I don't think I have a zombie's bane. In fact, I'm like 99% sure I don't. Because I think they were for sale in the bazaar in Argonia and we had like no money. So that was not a thing we spent money on. Nope, nothing else I can go in up there. We'll go in the bar on our way back. Ooh. What? Then why are they here? 
these uninteresting books. It's a fashion magazine called Beautiful Bracers. Think jewelry needs to be practical as well as pretty? You aren't alone. Take the Life Bracer, for example. It's the perfect bracer for a discriminating adventurer such as yourself. Simply equipping it increases the wearer's ability to withstand attacks. You can make your own Life Bracer by combining a gold bracer with a certain ring in your alchemy pot. Give it a try! Hmm. I might, and I might not. Ooh, I don't even know how many hours I have in this game, just because I've played it so much. What is a mighty man? Someone who's larger than life, stronger than strong, braver than brave. A mighty man boasts both a strong body and a strong mind. If you've only got one, you aren't a mighty man. A mighty armlet is just like a mighty man. It's a combination of two types of strength. Hmm. Do things that make you strong. Uh, duly noted. I think there's a portion of my playtime in this game that I don't know that you can really count because it's like in the casino. <laughs> in my youth, I was madly in love with a nun. and Golly, was she good with her hands. I refer, of course, to alchemy. I vividly recall the day she combined a flowing dress with a magical skirt to create a holy garment. Incredible. It's been years since I've seen her. I wonder how she's doing these days. For some reason, I've been thinking about her again. What a sexy sister. Yeah. You were just thinking about the clothes. Mm-hmm. Mythical birds. Thanks to the hard work of various scholars, a great many myths and legends about birds have been collected over the years. Perhaps most fascinating is one about a bird that flies not just through the air, but from world to world. According to the legend, this mystical bird appears whenever the world faces a crisis to help restore peace. Hmm. Smashy smashy. Yeah, check. Ooh, strength ring. And money. We like money. We have not talked to a single person. I used to be a rather important minister in a certain kingdom which shall remain anonymous. But I decided I'd like to become a stoneworker when I retired. I'm hard at it every day now. You've got to keep chip chipping away. Ha ha ha. Okay, that really wasn't worth our time. He spouted some nonsense. It's fine. Yeah, the casino really is a time suck. Like, <laughs> um, I'll probably do all the casino stuff other than the story related casino stuff. I'll probably do all of that off screen because it's literally just, just casino. It's just casino over and over and over again. And if it goes badly, you just got to reset. Yep. Ooh. We'll take the money. Okay, that was it. That was it. Okay, we go down the stairs now. Did we check this cabinet already? We did. Did we? We did. Okay. Yeah, because the casino's got the best whip in the game. Um, and we definitely, we want that as soon as we can get our hands on it. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, I, K, L, M, N, O, P. Those are not in the right order. It appears to have been written by a child practicing the alphabet. All right. They need more practice. It's a book entitled The Dragon Graveyard. Scholars have long known that there is an ancient dragon graveyard located deep within the desert. Some say the dragons go there to meet their maker because of its remoteness and quietness, but there is another theory as well. 
Legend has it that long, long ago, an army of dragons fought the Lord of Darkness on that very spot. The dragons were wiped out, and their fallen bodies formed the foundation of what we now know as the Dragon Graveyard. Been hearing a lot of stuff about this Lord of Darkness character lately. Has anybody else noticed? It's a book entitled Songs and Ballads of the World. It seems to contain the lyrics to the Arcadian Anthem. Arcadia, Arcadia, stone carving is our lives. Our hammers are like husbands, our chisels are like wives. Take our stones away from us and we break out in hives. Cut, chip, whack, smash, crunch, crack, crash, oi! They're the sounds that are always made here in Arcadia, Arcadia, Arcadia. I mean, you could... Oh, man. I It's just so hard to get the money, like, organically than by playing in the casino. So, like, when we get there, because we're probably going to get there in the next... If not in the in tonight's stream, we'll get there probably next stream. Um, I'll talk about what my personal casino strategy is. But we're not there yet, so we won't worry about it yet. Uh, other than my personal casino strategy is don't bother with pick them. It ain't worth your time. Hey, that's a big ass mallet. Did I open these? See, this is the thing about cabinets is I can never remember. Did I open them already? The answer to that question is usually yes, but I, I always forget. Okay. Let's see. Is this the Cranbartle house? I think this is the Cranbartle house. The Cranbartle family is full of talented masons. Unfortunately, my husband isn't one of them. It upset him quite a lot when he was younger, but he's got over it now and manages to enjoy the other things in his life. Like this little punum here. Hi there, sweetie. Do you want to know what I'm doing? I'm chewing on mom's recipes. Grandpa always told me I should sit and chew on things for a while if I didn't understand them. So I'm chewing on these. Is she like literally chewing on them or like the figurative? Hmm? Yes, this is the Cran Bartle household. Who are you? You're looking for the Cran Spinnels. You'll have to talk to my father about them, I'm afraid, but he's not here. He's building a tower up north of town. You'll need this if you want to get in there to see him. Put that sword into the keyhole of the tower door and it should open up. My father's name is Raiden. If you do go and manage to speak with him, perhaps you could ask him to come and visit his family once in a while? Hmm. He's building a tower. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, nope. Well, I can't give away all my secrets before we get there. We're not terribly far from the casino right now. We'll get there soon. We're like, I mean, it depends on how early you want to go to the casino. If we go there as early as possible, we're like a dungeon away. A dungeon, two dungeons away. anything back there to smash? No, there is not. If it ain't worth smashing, it ain't worth my time. Okay, that was everything over here. Now we go up. That's the church. That's that guy's house. We've been in there already. There's a door here. And it's empty. Those are some freaky looking masks. Okay. Um. Well, that's empty. Ooh, shops. Shops, 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 shops. Hi there. What do you have for sale? 
probably doesn't matter because we can't really afford anything right now. Eesh. Yeah, buy this um, monster coin I got. Buy it. You want that. Yeah, take that so I have more money. What else can I sell? Hmm. Oh, well, I definitely don't need all of those. Yeah. Pretty sure you can't even use those in the alchemy pot. Whoop. Like 90% sure those are not alchemy items. Do do. See, I just hoard things in video games. Oh man. Oh right, I have all of Jessica's stuff because she ran off. Okay. No, I don't want any of that stuff. But I do want to give that to Angelo because I'm pretty sure it's an upgrade for him. It is. And then there was something else I wanted to, oh, I wanted to see if this hat was an upgrade. Oh, no, Jessica's the only one that can wear it. Okay, never mind. Uh, never mind. All right. Smash these. We'll take the free money. We like free money. Doo -doo. Yeah, all in good time. All in good time. Well, that... That was weird, right? That's super red. Oh, I can't open this, can I? Nope, sure can't. All right. Guess I won't worry about it done. That's a wall. Okay. Found the inn. Let me smash. Really? Nothing in any of them? That's uncommon. There's a mini metal. It's a book entitled More Cheese, Please. Y'all, I don't know why they keep getting into my diary, but here we are. If you've got a hankering for a hunk of hard cheese, try mixing some rock salt with plain cheese. On the other hand, if it's silky soft cheese you're craving, try mixing rock salt with fresh milk and rene powder instead. That's the miracle of cooking in the alchemy pot. You can get wildly different results by using the same ingredients slightly differently. Yeah. Too bad those are terrible recipes to waste your precious rock salt on. Don't waste your rock salt on that. That's a terrible idea. Do not do it. You want the highly strung cheese. Highly strong. This cheese is highly strong. Hey, weapon shop. Oh. No, I want. But I cannot afford. What can I sell? What can I sell? Yeah, I'm gonna sell that. I'm not gonna use it in anything, so I don't need to keep it. Do I could sell both of those. It's not hard to remake these. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Cheese is so easy to make. Like, I can justify selling those things. It's an easy justification. I don't think the leather cape can be used for anything else. Hang on. I'm just going to look it up real fast in my book of tricks. Using recipes. None. Guess what? Selling them. 
Yeah! Uh, what about the Robe of Serenity? Can I use that in recipes? Use in recipes! None! <laughs> All right. Gimme that boomerang! <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Boop. Wait, did I not... Did I not buy it? No, I did. Okay, whew. I was like, did I go through all that only to, like, not buy it at the last second? There we go. Well, good night. Thank you for joining us. 3 a.m. is kind of... Uh, late, early, depending on your definition of both of those things. <laughs> Ooh, iron mask. Okay, yeah, that's no. Now see, that is tempting, but again, I don't have the monies for it. Which is a shame. It's not even an increase for Angelo because he's got the dancer's mail. Hmm. How much does the dancer's mail sell for? 8,200. I know I have another dancer's costume. So I could, in theory... That would be a net gain. But I'd need to sell 2,000 coins of something else? Hmm. Well, I don't want to sell that, I don't think. What about this battle fork? Boop, 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 boop. Oh no, I actually need to use that in a recipe that I should have been cooking already. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Staves, talk to me about the Staff of Divine Wrath. Doesn't have any recipes. Can I repurchase it if I decide that selling it was a terrible choice after all? That's the real question. Hmm. I'm not going to use it. Let's just be honest with ourselves. We're not going to use it. We're going to sell it. Oh, but I can't. I might not be able to get back. There is an enemy that does drop it. And I want that armor. So, yep, selling it. All right, give me. That. I want that. Yes, thank you. Okay. Big. Nope. We're done. Thank you. Oh man. We're so broke now. <laughs> to the alchemy pot! <laughs> hey look! Highly strung cheese! Always a good item to have. Okay. So we're gonna start with the battle fork for which we need a devil's tail and... Wing of Bat. I have Wing of Bat, don't I? Yep, I do. Okay. And that makes, like, the second or third strongest spear in the game, I want to say. Oh, no, that's not, that's not right. Oh, I need a Poison Needle. Oh. I don't have a Poison Needle. I have to buy one. Crap. Okay, hang on. Boop, boop. Yes, we know. We're gonna make the dancer's mail first instead. Yes. Okay. So that's the silver mail and the dancer's costume. What's the... What am I supposed to do with the magic armor to make it the spiky armor? I don't remember. I know they told me I could. 
but I don't remember what they told me to do. Is it an iron nail? Because I'll laugh. Oh no, it's a boomerang I never bought. At least I don't think I ever bought it. Yeah, it's the edged boomerang, which is actually a step down from the reinforced boomerang, which I made really early, so I didn't ever buy the edged boomerang. But we could go buy one now. Well, we'll wait until the dancer's mail is finished, because um, then we can just sell that and get all that money back, and then step, step, just step, just step. It's a, it's a whole thing. There's a process involved. It's fine. There we go. Alright. But now we also need to smash everything we can get our hands on in here. Slash inspect their cabinets. Hey, free cloak of evasion. That's nice. Could make another robe of serenity if we had another pair of boxer shorts. That, the robe of serenity sold for what, like 4,500 or something? Sold good, that's all I remember. Sold real good. Do we have boxer shorts? There, let's start there. No, we do not have boxer shorts. I don't know if you can buy boxer shorts. Hmm. Oh, we could upgrade. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, and you can't make me. Not, not a great item. Okay, cool. So we upgraded the hero's weaponry and armor. Um, and they said we needed to go north. Here we go. Oh, hey, look. No, come here. Give me your monster coin. I need money. <laughs> That's a valid reason to hunt things, right? Is because you need money. Right? Like, that's totally legit. All right, let's see here. Now we'll just, we're just gonna mess up his whole day. Wonder if we can put him to sleep. I like, never use Angela's special skills. Hey, that worked! Will that wake him back up? That didn't even wake it back up. Oh my gosh. There we go. Maybe I should be using sleep attacks more often. Dang. Ah, copper monster coin. Well. I mean, if we've got room for him, I guess we'll take him. Because we just... We're kind of doing a thing here. There's a horse. Hi, horsey. Again, not sure what I expected. Uh, you know, we could be riding a cat right now, couldn't we? Yeah! Awesome sauce.
Ooh, cuss swoosh, eh? Trying to decide who's a bigger threat here. I think we're going. Okay. Get them down. So this is like one of the weird points of the game where... <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Where like, where the party's not all together and we're coming up to like a tough area, but I don't want to do any leveling because then the party member who's not with us will be way behind. And it, since it's Jessica, and Jessica's already usually way behind, like, that's just, it's just a bad time all around. So. Okay, that just outright killed them. I guess they're not as strong as they look. Yep, not as strong as they look. That's good. I'll certainly take the money. So that looks like a tower to me. Um... Yep, that's a tower. Those with business inside, insert the stone sword into the hole in the door. There's a hole in the door. Yes, please. It always has to tell us that there's a hole there, and then we have to interact with it again to get it to open up so that we can do the thing. I don't know why it does that, but it does that. And instantly got a map. That's good. <laughs> First, be aware of the hole. Then, put your di- no. Um... <laughs> No, I hate these guys. I hate them. Why? Why are you here and why are you like this? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try the sleep arrow. Darn it didn't work. Oh good, it's dead anyway. Great. Perfect. Because the last thing we want is for these dudes to team up and become the Jabberwocky, because then they have, like, hella health points, and they're really hard to kill. It's really hard to kill? I guess it's all... It's like, a, it's like when the Power Rangers put their dragons together. So, um, this quote-unquote dungeon, this tower, Rydon's Tower, is actually just one long series of puzzles. Um, and the first time I was in here, I probably spent, oh, a good hour or two trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. Um, and then getting lost in addition to trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. So basically, 
There are seesaws in the middle, and they go up or down depending on where the weight is on them. So, like, if I step off of this now, it returns to where it was. And then I have to go over here and climb the stairs like an idiot. Right? Yeah, because there's nothing else down here. It's just... Oh, you accidentally lowered yourself to the to the first floor. Did you mean to do that? Well, in this particular instance, I did because I was showing you, but... <laughs> Otherwise, no. I didn't mean to do that. Their feet get bigger when they stomp with their, quote, enormous Got him! Oh, and we randomly got a scythe as well. Okay, that's fun. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. But this time, we're not going to step backwards. We're going to go forward. And then it's like, oh, hey, all the weight is here now. What do I do? <sighs> Basically, we have to walk off. You know what? We're going to... We're going to... I'm not sure how strong the enemies are in here, but like... For my brain to figure out these puzzles, is it's better if I'm not interrupted. <laughs> so we're just gonna do that in the hopes that we don't have to fight a lot of stuff while we're in here. Okay, so now we have these things, which I can push on. Ta-da! But you'll notice that there's like a thing here. So we have to be mindful of that. Also, just in case, simplify our lives for later, in case we F up, which hopefully we won't do. Hopefully. We'll see. I guess we're a high enough level because we haven't encountered any enemies since I put on Holy Protection. So, I'll just keep casting that. It's easier. Ah, oh, famous last words. free magic. Alright, 
up the stairs. Ramp. Whatever. So, after all of that, we made it to the third floor! And there's nothing on the third floor except a stairway up to the fourth floor. Because, for whatever reason, the uh, seesaws only exist in threes, so... There's no, like, crossover seesaw shenanigans. Well, it looks like this is my only, only way here. Okay, so we're on floor four. No, that's that's where we just came up, isn't it? Yeah, that's where we just came up. All right, don't get suckered into that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we want to go this way. And then there's actually, if you can manage it, it is possible to put the statue on the step at the same time as you get on the step. Um, but sometimes what happens is that you are on the step and not the statue, and then you just gotta go back up, and it's it's frustrating. So we're gonna not we're gonna not do that. All right, so that should take us up to floor six, yes? Yes? Yes, okay. So, is there anything over there? No. Is there anything over here? There's a staircase back down, which it looks like is what I want. No, I want it down the staircase. This. Bam. Ah. And then you can always tell the way up because there's a red carpet on it. So, like, if there's a way you're supposed to be going, go the red carpet. Now, you'll notice there was no statue at the top. Um, but that's because the statue is right here. We push it onto the little square. And then it gets a ride. And how the staircase knows that it's there to get a ride, I have no idea. But it does, so. Hey. Not mad about that. Me. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I have no idea why I did that. I needed to just go up these stairs. that the first time I was in this dungeon I spent a really long time trying to figure out how to figure out trying to figure out how to figure out exactly mm -hmm. 
All right. We made it up. Whew. Climb, climb. Climby climbs. Climby the climb climbs. Well, there's a surprise. Making good progress, I see. staircases here. I'm just picking one at random. Hmm. That that feels like a trap. I need this end to be heavier than the other end. Right? If I get on here and I walk across to the other side, is that is that what I want? Do I want? Oh my gosh! I can't even tell. Oh, but it doesn't matter. I can't get to that while I'm on the thing. Okay, well. <laughs> ah, gosh. Okay, so not that one. Um, let's go this way, I guess. Let's try this staircase, see if it takes me anything, any place more interesting. Nope. Oh, but was that a treasure chest? There is a treasure chest over there. So, okay. Oh. And the alchemy pot's done. Okay, so not this staircase in the middle. Let's try that one on the other end. Let's see if that goes where I need to go. Put it back on. Okay, now where am I? <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming I want to put this. Hey, it let me ride that time. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Now then, what's up here? Hey, it's the treasure chest we were after. Yay, don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Yes. Ooh, recovery ring. That's fun. Okay. Is that... Okay. Alright. Well... Um, cool. Can 
not gonna let me ride this time? I see. I see how you are. Oh, did I not need to do that? I guess I didn't need to do that. Y'all, we just picked a random direction. I don't know if this is the right way or not. <laughs> hey, that's the right way. Right? Yeah, because that other side doesn't go anywhere. Cool. I like it when we get lucky. I mean, it's not luck, it's skill. I know where I'm going. <laughs> Okay. Looks like. Can we find the top? Oh, I just went the long way to get to the ladder. Okay, here we go. Climb! Climb the ladder, Edric! Oh my god! <laughs> I hit the button to climb that ladder like five times. He's just like, what? Is there a ladder here? Ladder? What? Ooh, treasure chest. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Be something really cool. Ooh, guess what that is? An upgrade for Angelo. I think. Yeah! We love a free upgrade. Hello there, sir. I would like to speak to you about the crayon spindles. What? You made it? All the way to the top lake? Eh? Ha ha ha! If it's that easy, I've got more building to do. Can't have a novice like you get into the top. Uh, in all, with all due respect, sir. One, I am not a novice. Two, that was really hard, okay? Like, thank you. You're all right, young un. I'm right on. And what do you want with a sculptor like me, eh? Okay, so my friend like ran away and now she's trying to kill people and the person she's trying to kill needs these jewels to not be dead so we thought that you could help us with the jewels you're looking for the crown spinners ah those old gemstones is it they've been out of my family for donkey's years i've never even laid eyes on them myself but the guy said that you had them this is what i heard like one of my ancestors put them in a... Ooh. Ah. Ah. This damn back. Always giving me trouble. Dude, don't fake me out like that. I thought you were having a heart attack and I was never going to know where these stones are. Anyway, I heard one of my ancestors used them in a statue she carved. That's right. It was the pinnacle of her career, they say. Her best work. Where's the statue now? I can honestly say, I don't know. You'll have to find it yourself, young'un. All I can tell you is the lady's name, if this whole block of mine isn't letting me down. Her name was Alexandra. That's about it, I'm afraid. Unless there's something else I can help you with. What? My son said I should pay him a visit once in a while? <laughs> there's no time for that. If a novice like you can get to the top of my tower, I've got my hands full here. I'll just have to build it higher. The only way is up, as they say. Okay, I respect what you're doing, sir, but also, like, why are you doing it? Okay, so spinels are not here, uh, but he said... 
His ancestor, whose name was Alexandra, used them. That sounds suspiciously like... Another place we've been where they have glimmering jewels and a tower that looks like it was built by a master craftsman. Ooh, while we're here. Talk to me about the alchemy bot. Yes. Okay, we need to make some cheese now. So, I guess we're going to climb this tower again. <laughs> but it's okay, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, these monsters shouldn't give us any trouble. And also, we unlocked this door the last time we were here. So it should be a little bit faster to get to the top. Not a lot faster, but a little bit faster. We don't have to go through the back side. Ta-da! Look, we're already halfway through. Trixie craftsmen with their like trick masonry. First this place with its spinny doors, and then Raiden's tower with its flip-floppy seesaws. You're just trying to juke me out, man! Yeah, but I, but I, but I want them. Yeah, those. Are really? Oh, wait. Okay, fine. Wait, brave travelers. I am Alexandra. Many years past, I lived in your world. It was my hands that sculpted this statue. Let me tell you a tale. A forgotten moment lost in the great ocean of history. The story of the bloodline of the sages. I was born into the Crambartle family. A family descended from one of the legendary seven sages. But my generation saw the legacy of the sages pass to the Albert family when I married. You see, I was the chosen heir. The blood of the sages has remained in the Albert family ever since. But that lineage was severed by a dark and evil power when the life of the latest chosen heir, Alistair, was ended. Nevertheless, I am an ancestor of the Albert family. So, I will do everything I can to help preserve the Albert family line. I want you to take the crown spinels from the statue. 
I have no doubt they will be of use to you. Now Jessica is the only one who can continue the Albert family line. I beseech you to go to her aid. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, right. Uh, evac? Yeah, evac. So that's an interesting concept in this game, is that uh, there is a bloodline thing going on, but it has to be the chosen heir. Um, so even though Jessica and her brother Alistair share the same blood, Alistair was the chosen heir. I don't know what that means, if that means it's like the firstborn or if there's some kind of magic property associated with the bloodline as well um, that makes one chosen over the other. But, um, yeah. That's not where I meant to zoom to, but you know what, it'll work. I was actually going to zoom to one of the free churches. Let's zoom to one of the free churches. Like this one. Heal up. Oh, I'm human again. And I can see your face. Is this a dream? It must be. Can you hear my voice? I have to admit to being a little glum. I thought the curse would be lifted after you defeated Thulmagus. And now Jessica's gone too. I wonder where she could be. Do you think this has anything to do with the curse? I'll be praying for her safe return. Oh yeah, I guess Medea doesn't go into the cities much, so probably didn't see Jessica all evil looking. Well, that's awkward. We better save just to be on the safe side. Right. It's a brand new day. We have the crayon spinels. We are going to head back to Arcadia. talk you in, and this is how you repay me. I... I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I... I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold. Just who do you think you are? 
this imbecile upset you too, Sir Leopold? Of course he has! Such impertinence! No doubt the vile layabouts put poison in your food as well. Please, Master! You must believe me! I would never serve Leopold... Sir Leopold poison! Why should I believe you? If you want to prove your innocence, you'll have to eat some yourself. Now, while I watch. Not like that. On your hands and knees. And look like you're enjoying it. Insults you, David. Well, said Leonard, he seems safe enough. Enjoy your dinner. David, Sir Leopold is as much your master as I am. I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? Ah, you're back. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for my servant's unsightly display. The display was unsightly, but it wasn't the servant's fault. So, what are you doing here? If you come to report back, I'll uh, be waiting in my room. Man, that guy is a tool with a capital T. Why are you fond of him, David? He's not good to you. I feel like it's fate that I've ended up working here. That's... no, that's not... that's not what fate is, man. All right, let's go talk to the tool. Maybe Stockholm Syndrome. Ah, there you are. I hope that little saying before didn't upset you. Is nothing unusual. I think Stockholm Syndrome applies to when someone treats you better than you're expecting, given the way that they're holding you hostage. And here, Domenico's not holding David hostage. He's just treating him like shit. And David just makes excuses for him. It's a very classic uh, abuse story. I don't know why, but just looking at David's face makes my blood boil. Of course, I'd never dream of firing him. I have far too much fun being his master. <laughs> but enough of that. Have you got the jewels? Have you brought me the crown spindles? Yeah. Ha <laughs> You have! I won't have you bore me with details. I only care about results. Yes. Just holding them in my hands, I can feel the waves of magical energy flowing out of them. Yes. The crown spinners. Making an impenetrable barrier will be simplicity itself with these. That wand-waving bimbo won't stand a chance. And I expect you're feeling rather pleased with yourself. Helping the great Domenico is an honor, is it not? 
No. So, let me reward you. You may serve me as a god until that meddling girl comes back. I presume you accept this honor. Under duress. Very good. From this moment on, you will be my bodyguards. And now, for the first task in your new post. Come this way. This leads to my secret library. You will find a book for me in there. The book is called The Big Book of Barriers. It contains a recipe for making a very powerful barrier. By Fisher Price. <laughs> Hey, look, I'm just gonna reward myself with your nonsense. Ooh, free mini metal. Okay, magic vestment. And some money, we like money. It's an old manuscript entitled A History of the Diaconos Family, Volume 1. It seems to have been written by one of Domenico's ancestors. My name is Cletus... <laughs> My name is Cletus Diaconos. I was an apprentice under the great magician Cupus. Cupus was more than just a teacher and master of the magical arts. He was also an extremely wise and intelligent man. One day he said to me, Someday evil will return to this land, and when it does, the magical abilities of one of my descendants will identify them as the heir of a great sage. This will place them in terrible danger. Fearing for the safety of his kin, Master Koopas came to a momentous decision. With a potent incantation, he would transfer his great powers to my own family line in an attempt to hide the truth from the world. Once the fateful ritual had been performed and Master Koopas stood bereft of his magical powers, he turned and left without another word. Desperately, I tried to follow him, but he had vanished without a trace and I never saw his face again. A History of the Diaconos Family, Volume 2. My name is Cletus Diaconos. After Master Koopas transferred his magical powers to me, I cast a special spell over both of our family lines. No matter how many years went by, the spell would ensure that the fates of our two families would be inextricably linked, and that when the time came, our descendants would irresistibly be drawn together. Now I can only hope and pray that the Diaconos family will always watch over and protect the descendants of Master Koopas. Hey! It's her! The girl with the scepter! Uh-oh, shit just got real! 
What on earth took you so long? That pesky wand-waving bimbo has turned up again. I must erect the barrier immediately. Did you find the big book of barriers? Don't disappoint me now. Yes. Yes, this is it. Now, let me see. Yes, the final barrier. I must begin at once. You, go outside and stall that meddlesome floozy. What are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. Can't you tell a great magician when you see one? Just before you go. Fiery foo and babbling goo. Behold! Now that you're in top form, go and stall that wand-waving menace. Every second counts. Go! All right, I'm going, I'm going. Man, he's so pushy. And also, he sucks and we hate him. to prepare a stronger defense. Shut up! You won't get past me! I won't let you lay a finger on Master Dominico! Dominico? <laughs> What's so funny? Such a pity that you should die never knowing about your noble origins. I could tell from the start that absurd show-off was not the one. The Scepter is all-knowing. No, I seek the chosen heir of the great sage Koopas. One of the seven who sealed away the Lord of Darkness, Rathorn! And that, David, is you. What a pity that the one who should be protecting you is unaware of his responsibility. Ha <laughs> I wondered when you turn up. Fine. I knew I'd have to fight you somewhere along the way. Still. I have to admit, I'll be a little sad to watch you die. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, man, this is one of the fights that I just really, really hate. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buff. We're gonna we're gonna buff. Can't remember everything that she can do to us, but I remember that it's not good. Um and we don't we don't want any part of it. <laughs> yep, that's one of the bad things. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Highly strong cheese! Little extra oomph to the kebuff. Not mad about that. 
Okay, yep, we can handle that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not really afraid of the shadows. The shadows are whatever they are. We're not that afraid of them. Okay. We're just gonna go for the attacks. Um, hmm. We should bother healing. You know, we're gonna go ahead and restore a little bit of magic while we have the ability to do so. in the team now that her defense is down a level because I can't remember what all she can do but uh, they hit for good damage so we're gonna let them do some of the damage and take some damage like that yeah not that's not great oh she dodged this is rude Brickman, don't waste my time. Come on, man. Hit her or don't hit her. Dang it, Talos. How do you sleep through that, man? <sighs> well, better them than my actual team, I guess. Hopefully that got all the snooze out of our system. We'll go ahead and multi-heal this time. do more damage? We're about to find out. <laughs> eh, it's about the same. Oh, really? It's not how I thought that was going to go. <laughs> All right. That wasn't too shabby.
of the scepter. You won't get away with this. Now you'll see the true power of the scepter. Already it has ended the bloodlines of four of the sages. This town will burn, and every one of you will perish. Get out of the way! Move! Move! <laughs> Just in the nick of time, the barrier is ready. You villainous fiend! Take my life, would you? You'll have to break through my barrier first! Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. I must reward you. You may have the honor of finishing her off. Do you accept? Well, she's kind of our friend, so... What? Why on earth not? Explain yourself. Well, I just said, she's kind of our friend, so... Oh, well. So, this gal is a friend of yours. And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeated the Dual Magus. Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. The gal is yours to do with as you please. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect my life. There won't be any, uh... Financial reward, of course. <laughs> Wait. Where's Sir Leopold? He's gone. He must have been scared off by all the disturbance. David, go and find Sir Leopold at once. Y yes, Master. I heard this story from my great-grandmother. She told me how her own great-grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the western continent to be married. A sage? What do you mean? I didn't really understand at first either. But apparently, even though she was a woman, she was a master of sword fighting and magic. Really? So... Maybe that's why you're so good at them, too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work. And any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks. But it really isn't. In fact, if you ask me, I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you, but one day they will be. And I can't wait to see you when that day comes. She's finally coming too. King Trode. Gov. What... What happened? 
I feel like I've just woken up from a really long dream. Ah, it looks like you're back with us at last. Don't you remember? You disappeared the day after we defeated Dormagus. Yes, I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dolmagus was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. The Lord of Darkness. Rapthorn. But I found some things out. Listen, I've got so much to tell you. But there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. Yes. Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages so his seal would be broken. Rapthorn once terrorized the world, and it was the Seven Sages who managed to seal away his soul. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely, but they shut his soul away in the scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those Sages' heirs, Master Rylus, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat, too. Everyone who's been killed has been an heir of one of the Seven Sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. Do you mean to say that the reason Medea and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? I don't know. But there are only three heirs left. David and two others. If the heirs of all seven sages are wiped out, Rapthorn's seal will be broken and he'll escape from the sept... That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? <gasps> you mean the royal treasure? Come to think of it, I don't know. I lost sight of it in all of the hullabaloo. No. David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on! We must find the scepter before it's too late. Okay. Well, the last we saw it was by Domenico's house. Over here. Oh, David. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Well, it was like right here. Um. Hmm. Any other thoughts? Let me know if you spot him anywhere. I'm always making a mess of things, so this time I really want to help the master. I owe it to him to do everything I can to find Sir Leopold. Well, maybe... What's his butt picked it up? You. I have not been feeling well ever since seeing that little witch off, you know. It's not a physical matter. I've just got an uneasiness that I can't seem to shake. It's hard to put it into words, but I'm gripped by the feeling that I've made a most almighty blunder. But the great Domenico does not suffer from indecision and regret. I'm in no mood to talk now. Leave me. Come back and see me later if you need something. Ah! Ah! Someone help! 
Come quickly! I it's David! And Keen says... It's Leopold. He's got David with the scepter. Now, there are only two left. You will interfere no more. Please go after Sir Leopold. He is he's, he's the only one. Who makes Master Domenico happy without Sir Leopold? Master Domenico would would be so unhappy. Master. Uh. What what's happened, David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Coopers? Why has it taken me so long to realize? I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Coopers' heir together for a reason, but I... I... no. Just thinking about it is too painful. Is unbearable. <laughs> oh, hey, he does have a soul. I must apologize if I worried you. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David. This has always been my duty. But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. If only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. I ordered my servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. But... Nothing can put right the wrong I have done. I am not fit to show my face in public. Will you do me one last favor? I know it was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but... Will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge the spilt blood of the sages? That creature isn't my Leopold anymore. He's being controlled by some evil magic. I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but it's all I can do now. And I owe you something, too, for all the trouble I have caused you. <sighs> oh, yes. I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential as a magician. Allow me 
to awaken the dormant powers within you. People say they saw Leopold heading north out of town. That's where you should start looking. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, well, Jessica's back in the party. That's good. Uh, let's get her re-equipped, shall we? <laughs> let's see. What did she have on previously? Pretty sure I had given her that, but I don't think she needs that anymore. I'm going to go with that. those. Let's see. Helmet wise. The magical hat I think is her best option. And armor. Really? Funny suit? No, magic vestment. And then her whip, of course. Yep, there we go. Alright, so she's re-equipped. We'll work on putting all the other things back. In due time. Oop. Okay. So I think that's all the story stuff we are going to do in this stream for tonight. Um, not that we couldn't press on, because we, we could press on, but... Wait a minute, Gov. Oh, I take it back. Here we go. Uh, it's nothing much, but ever since we defeated Dolmagus and I picked up the scepter, I haven't been able to speak my own mind. So I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. I don't intend to stop searching until we found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together? Sorry. Did that come out a bit strange? Really? Thanks. You're sweet. You know that? Eh, you know, just not a giant turd. Okay, so, like I was saying, that's all the story stuff we're going to tackle for tonight. Um, we are going to go do some side questy things. So first we're going to head over to Princess Minnie to turn in some of the mini medals we've picked up. Because we've picked up a bunch more since the last time we turned them into her. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Hey, gold nugget. All right, meteorite bracers are awesome because they increase your agility by like 50. So they basically guarantee that you will go before any enemies you, you encounter, which is very nice, very, very nice. So, who was it that sold? poison needle. I think that's in Baccarat. Nope. I went to the wrong place. I hit down as the game paused. 
Yep. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> let's try that again. sure poison needle was here yes all right but first we need to sell dancer's mail we made because we can only use one anyway and let's also sell this copper monster coin all right now we're gonna buy one of those poison needles thank you much Lee. just go into the bag white shield as well to turn into a white shield because we gave Jessica's white shield to Angelo. So we need to make a couple of items. Whoop. Not the monster team. Wow. I'm like really struggling with the buttons. Here we go. Alchemy pot. So we're going to make another white shield for Jessica. And then we have two choices at this point. We can either tackle the side quest that will unlock the casino, or we could run around on Neos and get a crap ton of gold to buy better equipment. In both cases, the end goal is better equipment. The question is, in what order do we want to do those two things? If we unlock the casino first... In theory, we don't have to spend time grinding because we just spend time in the casino. But the casino is just a different kind of grind, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm trying to think how long that side quest is. Maybe I'm wrong about how early we can access and access this. I feel like we can do it now. We're, we're in back route. Let's just go find out if we can in fact do it now. Welcome to go- I mean, Cash and Carrie's Mansion. Are you here about the bodyguard positions? Go right inside. Okay, yes, we can do this now. Can we can. Doing this now also unlocks the ultimate place for leveling. I know that there are people who will disagree with me on the ultimate place for leveling, but trust me, it's this place. Oh, no, I'm not ready to go in there yet. I gotta loot their house first. Wait, that's the back door. Where are the stairs? Did I run past the stairs? Oh no, the stairs are in through here. Okay, no. Have to go in there. Ugh, I hate you, Cash. I so cannot stand you. We're both orphans, remember? Dad took us in when we were still babies. <laughs> that means we don't know who's actually older. For all you know, 
I could be your older sister. Yeah, and for all I know, maybe you're actually a boy. <sighs> Whatever, Carrie. Why don't you just chill out? I'm giving you an equal chance. Like, how many times do we have to go over this? We do the contest. The winner inherits the Golden family's fortune. End of story. Wait! Don't tell me! You're too scared to go to the Dragon Graveyard, even with your bodyguards. <laughs> As if! Don't be more of a jerk than usual, Cash. Huh? Uh, Cash, we have guests. They could be applying for the bodyguard position. Oh, hello there. Uh, please forgive our manners. Welcome to the Golden Mansion. Thank you. Dragon Valley Girl. Yeah, she's a little bit Valley Girl. It's okay, he's a little bit trash. A little bit country, a little bit rock and roll, a little bit nice and smash. We like mini metals. Because we want that meteorite bracer, am I right? Oh, yeah. There it is, spangled dress. Forget, is that an upgrade for Jessica? Yes! Yes, it is. It also occurs to me she doesn't have a shield on at all right now, so we're gonna give her this. She's got one thing. There we go. Okay, we looted their house. Now we can talk to them. Hey, great! We've been looking for a few good men and women. What? Why? You don't know what I'm talking about? Then listen up and hear what me and my brother have to say. Take a seat and I'll tell you the scoop, okay? Let me explain the situation. Our foster father has passed away. Now, we're in the middle of deciding which of us will take control of his fortune. Hmm, maybe arguing is a better term? My sister and I are like oil and water. We never agree on anything. That's why we've decided to have a trial. A contest, basically. Whoever completes it and returns to town first will be declared the winner! The trial itself is a golden family tradition. It's like a test of a potential heir's worthiness. All one has to do is enter the dragon graveyard and obtain the mark of the family on their hands. Sounds easy, right? Not! The dragon graveyard is full of monsters. We could even die, you know? So, we've agreed to hire bodyguards to protect us during the competition. The only thing is, we haven't been able to find bodyguards of the right caliber. But I've got a good feeling about you, travelers. What do you say, little sister? I hate to say it, but I agree. Wow, this is a first. I have that effect on people. Well, there you have it. Okay, then. If we're all in agreement, why don't you go ahead and choose which of our backs you'd like to cover? The loser will use bodyguards picked from the mansion staff. Won't you, Carrie? Whatever. You're going down either way, Cash. Sure, sis. Sure. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be compensated regardless of who wins. So, don't worry about pay. 
Okay, so now we have to choose which of the two we want to um, bodyguard, I guess. Uh, I personally uh, really love the color green and am a little sister myself, so I usually go for Carrie. And today will be no exception. You'll have a lot more fun with me than my brother, I can tell you that. So pick me. Yep, we're going to pick her. I don't want you oversleeping, so you're going to crash here at the mansion tonight, okay? Sounds good. Fair enough. I'll take some of our men as bodyguards. And before I forget... You rang? Would you be so kind as to prepare a nice dinner for our guests tonight? We should do our best to put them on equal footing with the guards. Don't you think? Do you always have to be so patronizing, Cash? But you won't hear me complaining about having a nice dinner. Diamond! First this camp for and now this! We're on a banquet row! King Trode's going to miss out again, though. Well, what he don't know won't hurt him. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Hello! Wake up! Up! Come on! Move, you lazy bum! What are you doing? The sun's already up! Cash is on his way to the cave! I cannot believe this! Help me wake everyone up right now! <laughs> I've decided to let it go this time because I overslept too. We have my jerk of a brother to thank for that. I got the maid to confess that she put sleeping powder in our food last night at Cash's order. Look, there isn't any time to discuss it now. We can still catch up with him. Come on, let's go. I know you need to get yourselves ready, but I hate waiting around. So, I'm going on ahead. Meet me at the entrance to the Dragon Graveyard. And don't keep me waiting. In theory, at least, we could actually keep her waiting there for a fairly long time. Um... There is a point at which if you haven't done this side quest, it it just sorts itself out. Um, but we're doing it, so we don't have to worry about that point happening. Because we're doing it now. So we actually have to go to a part of the world map that we haven't been to yet. Um... And that is the desert in the southern section of this continent. And we can't actually walk there. Because why would we want to walk anywhere? That's boring, right? We actually have to take our boat um, to get over there. So, if we zoom out here, you can see, um, way to the south, it's, like, walled off, but trust me, it's there. That's where we're, that's, that's where we're going. Going down there. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna go down there. Um, but first, I gotta figure out where my boat is. 
It's over there. It's over, it's over there? It's over there somewhere. That way. Cool. So... Go ahead and use the bell. Boat? Boat? Here, Bodie McBoatface. What? Ah, there's Bodie McBoatface. We're just gonna take this cat on the boat. That's totally fine, right? Totally normal. That's a thing people do. All right, and south we go. All right, we had a holy protection on, I forgot. That's cheating. Yeah. What? Jerk. So we had to go all the way around these cliffs to get to this spot down here where we can actually land our boat. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing that could happen. You never thought you'd have monsters with sex appeal try to out sex appeal the sex appeal character. But there it is. And she just laughs triumphantly because she won the Battle of the Bolches. Yikes. Alright, so we're just gonna land here. Forget. Okay, good. Just whenever we can ride the cat, we gonna ride the cat. And now that we have our whole party together, we're not gonna avoid battles anymore. Um, because Jessica needs levels, yeah. Because she's at least 8,000 experience points behind the boys because that's how much experience she gave us for defeating her. Man, how many magic dumbbells do you need? All of the magic dumbbells.
There we go. Get rid of those dudes. All right, we'll take the free red gold. On the right way still? Nope, I missed the turn to Albuquerque. Here it is. Here's the turn to Albuquerque. Well, it's a desert. Look at Chapel. Talk to me, what you got, bro? Nothing I don't already have. Okay, cool. Good chat. Hmm. All right. Well, we are going to take this opportunity to save. Because even though we can access the dragon graveyard at this point, um, there is every chance that we are going to get our asses handed to us while we were in there. So <laughs> we're just going to save just to be on this, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Cause ideally we would be level 34 or 35 going into the dragon graveyard. But again, it, it is one of the best places to grind for levels. Um, and I'm hoping I'll get to demonstrate that while we're in there. So, neat thing about the desert here is that, although yes, you can run across it, there's actually a shortcut that we can take. Okay. For some reason, I thought the death scorpions were going to be harder to kill than the iron scorpions, but I guess they're actually a lower level version. So, if, if you look over there, there is, in fact, a well out here in the desert. And there are actually several wells out here in the desert. And we can actually take the well, uh, go down into the well, and teleport from one well to another well. And it just makes traveling the desert that much faster. Bippity bippity. So yeah, if you see, there's like these 
whirlwinds down here. Tornadoes. But they're teleportation spots. And would you look at that? We are now right next to the dragon graveyard. Man, where have you guys been? I was starting to think you'd never show up. Excuse you, I came straight here. I didn't even rest at the inn and I probably should have. Cash is already inside. We've got to go after him. I've got to win. I swear, Cash, I'm going to have you begging for mercy. Okay, but real quick. We gotta get that shield out of the alchemy pot. Jessica. Actually, give that to Jessica as well because it's an upgrade. Yeah. Wicka, 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 yeah. All right. Back in we go. She's so pushy. Don't worry, Carrie. We'll get there. Alright. We're going to be spending a lot of time in this dungeon later. Well, I am. Haha! -ha! That! That! Right there! Look at him! He's the reason! <laughs> He's the reason the Dragon Graveyard is one of the best places to level because this is one of two places that are technically three. Three places that Metal King Slimes appear and they give the most EXP of a recurring enemy. Um, he is by himself, which is a bit of a bummer and I of course did not... Ugh, okay, well, we'll have to do it the slow way then I guess. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky. That I mean, lucky could always happen. It doesn't seem likely, but yeah, okay. So there is another enemy in here that can do that resurrection thing. And if you get a metal king slime along with a row of the enemies that can resurrect, all you have to do is kill the metal king slime and then one at a time let each of the other enemies revive the metal king slime and all of all of its compatriots they can each only do it once but you can theoretically get one metal king slime and four of those other enemies and you've essentially gotten five metal king slimes in one battle it's insane it's beautiful we freaking love it um it's rare <laughs> because of course it's rare but it's still a, a wonderful thing that we absolutely want to happen if we can at all make it happen. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know what I'm saying? We are slightly under leveled for what's coming at the end of this dungeon. So I think I am going to try to fight some random stuff in here. I went the wrong way, didn't I? I did. Gross. Yeah, I would too, Jessica. I get it. 
Hey, we'll take it. I guess we'll take the crackle. Dragon shit. There we go. Fully healed. It's over here. Oh, it's a dude. Well, well, Carrie. So you finally caught up? Cash has already gone on ahead, though. I'm afraid I couldn't keep up with him. That doesn't seem smart, leaving your bodyguards behind, but, you know, that's just me. Ah, so that, uh, the little flying thing in the center there, the Beezlebub, that's the enemy I was talking about that has the ability to resurrect everything else, um, at the cost of its own life, which, as far as it's concerned, I'm sure is worth it. No sleeping. No sleeping. Gosh dang it, you guys. Okay, just go look up. No, wake up Yangus. Dang it, wake up Yangus. Well, that's not good. We need everybody. So 
glad I woke him up for that. Sorry I woke you up and then a monster licked your face. Both of you. Regular monsters in here are kind of tough. Angelo. He's asleep, but he broke out in goosebumps? <laughs> it's, a, it's an automatic response to the grossness. It's just wake up, shiver, and revulsion. Now there are like chests and stuff in here that I have definitely missed, but it's because I will be coming back in here later to do hella leveling up. Like this is end game leveling territory. Um, so don't worry too much about the fact that I've missed them. I will go back and get them. I didn't forget that they exist, I guess. I know that I would be spending plenty of time in the dragon graveyard. Going forward. Ouch. Ouch. She lived. Ooh, and I leveled up. That's good. at last, Carrie. I'm afraid you're too late, though. Cash came by here ages ago now. I'd stop wasting my time dawdling here and get going after him if I were you. <laughs> sure, as soon as I can figure out how to get where I'm going. Here we go. This is a path. I want that Metal King slime. I want it. Okay. 
gonna run away. They always run away. Oh, it didn't run away. Okay, all right, fellas. Come on, fellas. Executioner missed three times in a row. The odds of that are just not good. I just wanted to kill the Metal King Slime. I just wanted to kill you. Come back and let me kill you. Oh, that's frustrating. They are. They have really high defense, but really low health. Like, a Metal King Slime's only got, like, 32 hit points. Um, but only critical hits can hit them, essentially, other than the, like, specialized weapons and the Metal Slash skill. So, like, ugh. It just... Ugh. And, of course, I keep forgetting to give Hero his Lance back. So, we're gonna fix that right now. So, hopefully that will improve our outcomes. Let's go ahead and give Jessica some items, too. Okay. Hopefully we'll get another shot and we'll get one of those dead before we find Ash. Is there a treasure chest over here? There is! We like treasure. Ooh, a dragon shield. Hmm. Increase for Yangus. Whoop.
shit. Hero's dead. Fine, he didn't need those those uh, experience points anyway. Nope, that's where we came in. We were going this way. And get mesmerized by the pixels. The delicious, delicious, fiery pixels. Come on, here's another dude. So many of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, and our uh, magic points are taking a hit, y'all. Gosh, she's more dangerous. Spoiler alert. Regular old boring attacks now. Except for that one. More dragon dung. I do not need that shit. Huh. I had no idea the monsters in here were so strong. Cash went on ahead and left me behind when I got injured. He's in terrible danger. If you find him and he's in trouble, just forget about the trial. Don't let the monsters harm him. Arm him. I don't know. After what he did with the sleeping powder, maybe this is just another dumb trick. Anyway, it serves him right if he gets himself into trouble, leaving an injured man behind like that? That's like, so low. True. That is pretty low. Pretty shitty. Oop. Needed this ramp, apparently. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Chair of Zero. Just gonna get back all of the magic we could possibly get back. than we had. 
Ooh, and Jessica leveled up. That's good. Yes, Jessica did just learn Lady Song. Okay. I genuinely, genuinely cannot remember, but I'm pretty sure that there is no magical healing thing. <laughs> So, we're gonna do something a little unorthodox and use these magic waters out here. the magic water that we have. We do have an elfin elixir. But I would rather not use it if I don't have to. So, yeah. Okay. It is that which it is. We're going in. checking just in cases all right here we go we're gonna call in the team
Now, if I recall correctly, there is a method here, and you're supposed to take out one of them first. I can't remember which one you're supposed to focus on. So I'm gonna focus on the red one first, I guess. But I also think that these are enemies that do not have the ability to um, do anything if you psych up. So, like, they can't do anything about any buffs we cast on ourselves. They can do that. Take it. We'll fur we'll frickin' take it. Okay. Okay. We can we can handle that. We can work with that. Yeah, I think we're gonna not waste too much more time trying to... Because they keep nearly killing us, so... It might be more important to keep everybody alive. <laughs> you 
Nope, that's not good. We don't like that. Don't like that. You know what? Forgot he could do that. Nope, don't like that. None of that nonsense. Might just, might just do that again. <laughs> oh, didn't need to. Sweet. Okay, that's one down. And you can't team up with your little buddy anymore.
Come on, Jessica. Yes! Oh, sis. How could this happen? But I won't forget your sacrifice, Carrie. Not for as long as I live. Don't you worry. I'll take over Dad's place and make you proud. I know you and Dad will be watching over me from heaven. <laughs> Sorry, Cash, but I'm not dead yet. Ow! Hey! So you're okay? I should have known better than to worry about you. <laughs> you big fat cheater! I cannot believe you mixed sleeping powder in our food! You just threw the contest as far as I'm concerned. And look what happened! You nearly got yourself killed! You're lucky I found you in time! Look, I'm sorry. I just really wanted to win. To finally make you respect me as an older brother. But you know what? I don't care anymore. You risked your life to save me. You deserve to become the sole heir. Huh? Like, what are you saying? I'm saying the fortune's yours. And let's make that the end of this stupid rivalry between us. Anyway, we're almost at the doors of judgment. Bodyguards, we're still counting on you. All I have to do is open these doors and the family crest will be marked on my hands. Owie! Ow, ow, ow! What's up with this door? It's all hot. I'm so going to get burned. Well, duh. The burn is the mark of the family heir. Why do you think they're called doors of judgment? You can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Wait. So I have to open both of these doors? I can barely get the one open. It's impossible to do alone. Whatever. Guess there's only one thing to do. If you feel sorry about that dirty trick you pulled, now's your chance to make up for it. Help me open the doors. If you do, I'll agree to split the fortune. That means we'll own the casino together. Deal? You won't hear me complaining, but don't come crying to me if you start regretting it later. Come on. That side's all yours. Let's do it. Ah! What are you crying about? This is nothing compared to getting smacked upside the head by a monster. I'm not crying. I just want to get back home and put some ice on my hand. Not until after we go in and have our audience with our ancestor. Bodyguards! You'd better come too. We're not done here yet.
trusted descendant, you have an obligation to protect this noble heritage. You may never permit this bloodline to end. For whilst it endures, the world shall remain at peace. That was our ancestor? Sure looks that way. That crystal seems to be enchanted with some sort of power that shows an image to us. He said not to let the bloodline die out, but isn't that impossible? We were adopted, after all. The family bloodline ended when father was killed. Well, we can't do anything about that now. All we can do is work together to make the casino even more successful. Anyway, we've heard what he had to say. Let's go home. And don't forget, travelers, you're still on the payroll as bodyguards until we get back. What happened? What are you two doing together? Does this mean you still don't know who won? Come on, it's obvious. It must have been a draw. Does this mean the casino's gonna stay closed? Uh, give me a break. Listen up, all of you. As you can see, the contest was a draw. However, an heir has been decided. Both of us are inheriting our father's fortune. Together! And as proof, we have both obtained the mark of the Golden Clan from the Dragon Graveyard. They look just like the Scar's Golden Head on his hands. Yeah, he used to show them off all the time down the pub, he did. We also have some good news for everyone. The casino will reopen tomorrow! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> About bleeding time! And finally, we need to thank you for protecting us, my traveling friends. But we're exhausted at the moment. We'd like you to stay in the mansion tonight as our guests so we can properly reward you tomorrow. That's good, because that fight was a tough one, y'all. All right. Let's go see what Cash and Carrie have to say for themselves. Morning! Did you sleep okay? That's good. I'm feeling much better after a night back in my own bed, I can tell you. That labyrinth was a real chore. I'm sure glad to be back to my home comforts. Anyway, it's thanks to you that we made it back okay. We owe you. Yeah. You guys saved our lives. We'd have been toast if it hadn't been for you. But you know, going through that together really made us realize just how important we are to each other. We've decided not to fight anymore. No doubt that promise will last all of five minutes, but I'm sure we'll only fight like, you know, normal brothers and sisters. Anyway, we want to give you some casino tokens as a reward. We've got 600 for you. We reopened the casino this morning, so when you have time, go take a look around. Hey, guess what I have right now? Time. Well, there they go. I guess this is goodbye. You know, before we met them, I never imagined things would turn out like this. I mean, both of us inheriting Dad's fortune? Who would have believed that? Looking back, I can't believe how stubborn we were acting about being sole heirs. It's amazing how easily people can change when they put their minds to it. 
Watch it there, big brother. This talk of becoming soul heir, it's freaking me out. Don't worry. I'm not suggesting anything. We're in this together, I swear. On the mark on my palm. I swear it too, Cash. On the mark of our family. And on the memory of our father. Now that we're working together, we can make the Golding family more successful than it's ever been. <laughs> Let the good times roll. <laughs> All right. So that side quest opens up the casino. Um, if you don't do that side quest, uh, the casino does eventually open on its own after you complete enough story work, and so does the Dragon Graveyard, but there's no reason not to do it early, um, especially since the casino prizes uh, have some of the best stuff in the game. Like, um, the best possible whip for Jessica is a casino prize. It's also the most expensive casino prize. But yeah, you can come over here and talk to the lovely bunny lady. So we're just gonna look at what we've got. We've got the prayer ring, the spangled dress, the saint's ashes, a falcon blade, which is really nice because when you attack with it, it actually hits the enemy twice. Um, the liquid metal armor, which is, as you can see, a huge upgrade for everybody's defensive capabilities. Like, literally, nearly a 50-point jump for everyone. Um, and then the Gringham Whip, which hits every single enemy on the field. Doesn't matter how many they are. Doesn't matter how they are grouped. But as you can see, the Gringham Whip costs 200,000 coins. And we currently have 600. So, we need to do some casino games. There's a lot of stuff that you can do, um, and a, a lot of uh, theories about the best way to go about it. There's a bingo game that you can play, there is a roulette game that you can play, and then there are slots that you can play. Um, the slots, these green ones, uh, are single coin slots, the blue ones are 10 coin, and the red one is 100 coin. This red machine is how I make all of my casino money. This, this red machine. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save, I'm gonna bet on it, and if I lose, I'm gonna reset, and I'm gonna come back to it. And once you get to a certain point, you just keep betting over and over and over again, and after a while, you will start to beat the house, because it's a video game. In real casinos, you will never beat the house. In this video game, you can beat the house by playing this machine. It's the simplest thing to do. I usually like have my controller in one hand while I'm watching TV or something, and I just keep hitting the up button to start the machine over and over and over again. But to get to the point where you can reliably do that on the 100 token machine, you need probably about 10,000 tokens. So one of the tricks you can do for that is to come over here bet on the roulette wheel put all of your money on a single one see if you win if you win great if you don't win reset your game like literally that's it that's it you can also talk to this lovely bunny lady to purchase casino tokens so each casino token is 20 gold coins which means that gringham whip is four million coins. I don't know about you, but I don't want to sit around mining four million gold coins. So I'm not going to do that. Um, that's a t it's just a terrible investment. However, what I might do is get 400 so that I have an even 1,000 um, and then go save in fact, I am going to do that. Because, and the reason I say that is, once we have enough tokens to buy everything we want to buy, 
we can then also buy prayer rings for a thousand coins and sell them for like nine thousand gold coins so it's a good uh return on investment no i don't actually want any of those things thank you okay bye so your tokens live here not that big of a deal i'm gonna go save and that is gonna be it for the stream for tonight um if I have time, I might try to do a little bit of casino farming, but honestly, it's not that interesting to watch, so I'm not going to make you guys live through it. We're just going to save the game, and we will pick up here tomorrow, um, hopefully with some casino items. We'll see. We'll see how that plays out, um, and if not, then we'll just pick up and keep going, and I'll come back and do the casino some other time. But thank you all so much for joining me. Once again, if you uh, miss any of my streams, I do upload them to YouTube. But the streaming schedule is looking pretty reliably to be Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 8.30 and Saturdays at 2. And Saturdays shouldn't uh, go uh, seven and a half hours like this past week did. But, um, you know, you never know. It just depends on whether we're in a groove and everybody's enjoying themselves and having fun and hanging out. So thank you all so much. Please join me again tomorrow night at 830.